Hi, and welcome to video three for section 1.6. This is the third of uh, four videos. Yep, four videos. Um, in this one, in this video, we're looking at proportion problems. In this kind of problem, they're always going to be set up with the same. We're going to have something equals something equals something. So now instead of just one, like one equal sign, we're going to have two. So if you see this kind of problem, and again, I know this is a lot of times where people have issue with math, is, okay, here's this problem. I don't know what to do. Once I get started on it, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this problem. I can do it. So I'm trying to give you these little red flags of, all right, what is it that you should be looking for? And when you see this type of setup, it should immediately tell you, this is what I have to do to solve this. So in this problem, type of problem, it'll look like this. We'll have x over y equals 3 over x plus 1 equals 9 over 4x. So I'm given three pieces. This guy is equal to this guy, which is equal to this guy. When I have these problems, and it could be written in any order, because it's equals, equals, equals. But to solve these problems, the first thing I'm going to do is just look at two of them. I don't care that there's three. I'm going to just look at two of them. But what I want to do is pick out the two pieces that have only one variable and the same variable. And it's what? Well, this one has x and y, so I don't want to use him. This one has just x, this one has just x. So to start with, I'm only gonna look at this. I don't even care that this piece is here. I'll use it later to solve for y, but first I have to solve for x, and I'm doing it by just worrying about these two guys. Now, if I have this guy equals that one, if you think back, uh, that was a few videos ago, but if I have this type of setup, how do I solve it? I cross multiply, right? So if I had if a over b, this was in our fractions, I think, equals c over d, then a times d equals b times c. So that's what I have here. a times d, 3 times 4x, is equal to this guy, 9 times x plus 1. So now what do I have? I have one equation with one unknown, so go ahead and solve for x. So here I have 3 times 4x, that's 12x, and then distribute my 9. 9 times x is 9x, 9 times 1 is 9. So subtract 9x from both sides. 12x minus 9x is 3x equals 9. Divide both sides by 3 tells me that x is equal to 3. So now I can go back. So now that I have one of the variables figured out, I need to solve for the other one, y. So now I need to use this equation, and I can pick either one of these. Pick whichever one you want, whichever makes it easy, doesn't really matter ultimately. So I'll just choose these first two since they're next to each other. You could have chose these two if you want. You'll still get the same answer. So if I have just these guys, x over y equals 3 over x plus 1. But I already figured out what x is. x is 3, right? So I can go ahead and plug that in here. So this one is 3 over y equals 3 over well, x is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. So right now, this is super easy, right? Because what? If 3 over y equals 3 over 4, well, y would have to be what? y would have to be 4. But let's assume this one didn't fall into place like that. What do we do? Cross multiply. So 3 times 4 equals 3 times y. So 12 is equal to 3y 
Divide both sides by 3 means that what? y is equal to 12 divided by 3 is 4. So my answer then is that x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4. And that's it. That is how every single one of these proportion problems is going to be solved. So you, don't, you know, don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to sit there thinking, man, how am I going to solve this one now? This is the steps. Pick out the two pieces. And it, first of all, you know because you have two equal signs. I don't think we're going to do anything else this semester that's going to have two equal signs. Just these kind of problems. So if we have this problem, you should be like jumping out of your seat like, all right, I know how to do these. These are easy. Pick the two that have the same variable. Solve it. Use the other one, the third one, with either of these two. It doesn't matter. Set up the equation, substitute in what you know, and then cross multiply and solve again. So that's it. Quick little video, uh, show you how it's done. Uh, try, try the ones that are in the homework and whatever you can't figure out, bring it to class and we'll figure it out together. So come on back and we'll look at uh, video four, the fourth video for this section.